what's up guys it's me i'm back with another video today i decided to react to something that is amazing the pioneers the future kids kids yes i am talking about the march for our lives so without any further ado you know what to do you like you subscribe you share you comment and just make sure you smile because these kids are going to make you smile because it's kids fighting for what they believe is right and in retrospect what Everybody believes they're right, just some people deserve to be heard, and these kids do. Even though I'm not living near that country at all, and our country has the same amount of problems as it, my respect goes towards them for giving it a shot. These countries like Somalia, Afghanistan, uh, Israel, Palestine, all war countries, Syria, that also needs our attention, and I will get to it one day, very soon, I hope. So this year came up and I decided to do it. So without any further ado, enjoy the video. We begin tonight with the massive rallies across America. Teenagers leading the charge from New England to California. Hundreds of thousands taking part in the March for Our Lives, March demanding tougher gun control laws and an end to school shootings. Officials planning for at least half a million people in Washington, D.C., Crowds as far as the eye can see, 175,000 in New York alone, a sea of people in Atlanta, St. Paul, Dallas, and Los Angeles. The movement led by survivors of the shooting rampage that killed 17 oh people at Stoneman Douglas High School Apparently in Brooklyn, Florida. And more than eight Her speech was amazing, so. Yeah, I'm not going to show the whole thing because that would take literally forever. Just highlights of it, and probably mostly from news outlets. And I'm definitely getting a copyright strike, which is worth it as long as I don't have to take off the video. So let's see 800 events taking place around the world. ABC's David Wright leads us off around in Washington the world. tonight. Pennsylvania Avenue, the main street of American politics, today packed with people from the doorstep of the U.S. Capitol almost to the doorstep of the White House. Hundreds of thousands of people standing shoulder to shoulder to condemn gun violence. At the end of the day, bullets do not discriminate, so why should we? Yeah. Young people, including the survivors of Parkland, not even old enough to vote, led the way. When politicians send their thoughts and prayers with no action, we say no more. And to those politicians supported by the NRA that allow the continued slaughter of our children and our future, I say get your resumes ready. My friends and I might still be 11, and we might still be in elementary school, but we know, we know what is yeah. right and wrong. In New York City, protesters marched from Central Park to Times Square. ABC Zachary Keish in the thick of it. Can this movement, can this march, your voice, can it be the difference? The catalyst? It has to be. We don't, we don't have a choice of yeah, whether it's going copyright. to be or not. It has to be does not matter. In Parkland, Florida. In Texas and other deep red states. In California and other blue states, the crowds exceeded expectations. Some of the marchers yeah. have a personal connection to this issue. I'm from Newtown, Connecticut. So this issue hits close to home for you. It absolutely does. 17-year-old mm. Susanna Barna is a photographer for The Eagle Eye, the school newspaper at Stoneman Douglas High School. She was there, locked down the day a gunman murdered 17 people in her school. Having been through that, it must be quite emotional to be here today. Yeah, of course. I mean, okay. it's hard to describe it just because it's, it's so overwhelming. It's so much. But it, I mean, I just I know that this is something I'm going to look back on one day. And this is a story I'm going to be telling my grandkids. Now we're gonna sing it to you, today, plenty of celebrities lent the their talents and their voices to this cause. Ariane Among Grande. them, Paul McCartney in New York, who reminded the crowd how John Lennon was murdered. One of my best friends was killed in gun violence right around here. So uh, it's important to me. But it was the kids who took center stage. The emotional high point. Emma Gonzalez, a Parkland survivor, on stage for six minutes and 20 seconds. The amount of time it took the shooter to turn her community upside down. 
The crowd Dance there chanting Spoke never Master. again, an incredibly powerful moment. That David Wright joins Georgia. us now live from Pennsylvania Virginia Avenue. And David, you were out there all day and you were telling me earlier the crowds and the people concerns people like went well beyond violence in our schools. In other countries, That's right, they're much, against much, gun much violence in all faster, its forms, Tom. And, war, and, you know so what, yeah, we did need one or two people who want to ban so, guns. The vast yeah. majority of the people that we met today say that they want what they see to be reasonable restrictions, things like getting rid of those high-capacity magazines, getting military-style weapons out of the hands of civilians. Of course, the gun rights community sees that as a slippery slope. Tom? David Wright leading us off tonight. David, thank you. Yeah. So, both sides have opinions. But it's not, not guns killing people. It is guns killing people. So there's only one right side in my book. <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. It's sad. There's other sad things in the world. But take away the gun, less k killing. The lower amount of deaths. Same as war. Take away all those things. Go back to Stone Age. Fight with your hands. Be a man. And then something different will happen. You never know the outcome. None of us knows the outcome. That uh, is uh, the way of life. The circle of life. And None of us know the outcome, so we only yearn to see what's going to happen. If we take away the guns, it could make life easier or harder. But probably it would make it easier, so that's my view on it. I don't like guns. Trust me, I don't like guns. Not even the BB guns. So yeah, that is my take on the whole situation of guns. So this is a few celebrities that also took part in this whole thing. And it's not all of them, definitely, because there was a lot. And they shared their opinion, which might sway people that does not see gun violence as bad things. So it might sway them to the their way, which is, in my view, the right way, but not many. So I don't understand why am I just... So this is a few celebs. It also shows the poor for the March for Our Lives which I'm sure is not all of the celebrities but it's a few and let's see who they are and what their message is, is. and the Parkland Starting students and DC and Haley and Mia who are here we are incredibly lucky to have you we've learned so much Very from you comedian. and we appreciate your patience to teach us we stand together for your senselessly slain classmates and friends and say this has to stop. Okay. And you feel betrayed that you are living under the illusion of safety that your elders and country provided. And I stand with you to fight for the 17 fallen angels from Stoneman Douglas High and the 20 little children from Sandy Hook Elementary. <laughs> Why the song? Like, why the song? If you're listening to the song, you probably know who it is for. It's for the late Paul Walker. He died like two years ago. And the song still reminds me, reminds me of him. Without you, my friend. And I'm pretty sure this is probably the best place to play it. His t-shirt, enough is enough. And yeah, so now I have to think of Paul Walker throughout this video. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Yeah, I was waiting for West Khalifa. Uh, like seriously, uh, but okay, he wasn't there. Maybe show the support some other way. We don't know, but let's see uh, what's happening. Okay, and never, 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 ever, ever, ever. Hate, hate is something that is the worst thing on us. If all if I disappeared, I'm sure guns, even if guns was here, 
warrior. What am I talking about? This gun's warrior, but there's no hate. No one would use the gun. They would use flowers instead. And I'm sure you saw videos like that before because I did and I'm living in South Africa. So what you doing? Let's get on with the video. Today, we are witnessing the moment the NRA has long been afraid of. <laughs> Olivia Wilde. An entire generation has been galvanized by their collective rage, and they are ready not only to march, but to vote. These upcoming oh. midterm elections Don't are your chance there, to channel your outrage to into action. Apathy is no I'm longer an it. option. Your elected officials work for you. Okay. Do not let those who choose to accept money from the NRA profit from your hopelessness or from the blood money of your peers. Of Instead, vote them out. Agreed. I just want to say again and I'm again thank you to the students who are leading us here I, today. I am so forward. It took all of you to get us up this and out and do this. A friend of yes, mine recently has, like, was explaining to her young daughter say, why we were marching. Um, and she said we were marching so that you guys can be safe and, and protected bad, at school. And her daughter said, but mom, I thought you said you'd so, always protect yeah. me. Let's just say the Spanish So people. we're here as parents, Spanish -speaking people. as teachers, as citizens. And we are following you, the students. Thank you for guiding us and leading the, the way towards safety and protection for all of us. It happened in Vietnam, and now it's happening in the U.S. So that's all I have to say. It is going to be a very weird couple of days because there's going to be negativity thrown towards these kids. But there will also be positivity to the long towards the kids. At least I'm one of the people that's throwing positivity. You just did well. Give yourselves a round of applause. So, without any further ado, I'm not going to do it all exciting because this video is not meant to be exciting. It's meant to be informative. And I'm sure that 10, 20, 30, maybe 50 people who see this video will do more research into this. And hopefully, it is people from the US that can make a difference because South Africa can make a difference over there and maybe those people will grow up to be the next politicians which will be less less more more likely not to start wars with other countries because the current president there is just a joke straightforward it's just a joke don't know how you just voted in but I'm sure you wish you didn't so that's my opinion hopefully you enjoyed the video if not to tell people about it even tell people about it not to check my video out you can check any of these videos out the links will be down in the description i really don't care if you watch this video of me because i'm not doing it for me i'm doing it to get the word out there let's say it that the word and yeah so bye there comes a time when we heed a certain call, when the world must come together as one. There are people dying, oh, when it's time to lend a hand to life, the greatest gift of all. change we are all a part of God's great big family and the truth you know love is all we need
so normally i put my previous video here today i decided not to because i want to inform you to go check out do more research about the marshmallow lines and hopefully it will make a difference deuces